This is the High Performance Computing Facility. It houses several supercomputers, including Sierra and Lassen. Sierra's peak performance is about 125 petaflops. Uh, we'll get there by having 4,320 compute nodes. Uh, each node has two Power9 sockets uh, with 22 cores each and four NVIDIA Volta GPUs. Uh, we get some advantages because the GPUs are very power efficient and very fast. However, they add the challenge of moving data back and forth in between the CPU memory and the GPU memory, and that takes time and adds software complexity. Work on a supercomputer begins years before the machine is delivered to the facility. Two of our facility engineers will share some of the behind-the-scenes information about what it takes to power, cool, and monitor Sierra, one of the most powerful machines in the world. So when we install a new system, we have to look at the electrical, mechanical, and structural sides of things, the available power and the type of power, the, uh, the cooling if it's water-cooled versus air-cooled, and structurally the actual weights of the, the racks. Under the floor we have water distribution, electrical distribution, and controls to you know, control the system tied into the building management system. What's unique for Sierra is that the racks are very dense, so we need to have a lot of power for a small amount of area. So we've spent two years having a modernization project prior to Sierra's installation to upgrade our infrastructure and bring in higher voltage to the bottom floor, saving on conduit costs and um, conductor costs. It's the first time that we're distributing this amount of power in a small area. So we have new 2.5 megawatts of power transformers that will bring higher voltage to the dense Sierra racks. Um, to distribute that power, we're using underfloor busway for the first time, rather than the conventional subpanels that are against the wall. Sierra being a water-cooled machine and being close proximity to electrical, we closely monitor um, leak detection. Should we get a leak in, a major leak in the system, we have automated valves that can close so we don't flood the whole facility. We have an operations group that works 24-7 and should anything happen to the facilities and alter the, the environment, we, get, we get, would get called out. Leveraging our experience from Sequoia, we utilize the aquatherm piping, which is a polypropylene pipe. And it, it's cheaper, it's 75 to 80 percent lighter than copper, stainless steel, or comparable metals. We have two sources of power which allows us to have double reliability. So if you were to look underneath the floor of Sierra, you'll see new power metering boxes. These boxes allow us to monitor the power usage of Sierra. Since we're in California with earthquakes, we require racks to be placed on ISO base, which are independent planks with ball bearings within them, which allows the racks to move independently from the floor. So if there's an earthquake, the racks will roll on these planks rather than fall apart. Whenever we get a new computer, people are really excited to get on it. And those first users are the people who help us find the problems and, uh, and work with us very closely to, to track them down. It is extremely rewarding to see all this start to fall into place as the uh, integration lead for Sierra. It's great to know that everything that we've been working on for all these years, it's going to work. It's going to get the job done.